Brian, can you uh, take us through your goal, please? Uh, yeah, I think I saw it go back towards Croner and, and saw that he was going to keep it in. And, uh, you know, got lucky that the, you know, he put it on net, which is a good play by him, but got lucky that it came right to me and kind of had a little bit of uh, time to chip it at the goalie. Um, I can't really, I'd be lying if I told you I tried to put it in. It was just kind of chip it towards the net. He was kind of at a position, and uh, I don't know if it hit, hit his back or something, but we'll take those. Brad, you've got a lot of outdoor game experience. You've been through good moments for and against. Where does this one rank for you and, and getting a goal to, to win the game with a minute left? Yeah, I mean, it's a special weekend to be part of, you know, just uh, growing growing up. Any Anytime I want to watch hockey, I'd want to watch Colorado or Detroit. You know, there's so many great players. So just to be part of this, uh, you know, the history of that rivalry, um, being around, seeing some of the guys yesterday and uh, knowing they played and, this being just a, you know, not not just about all that, but this was a huge two points for our team and the race we're in. So um, it, was, it was pretty nice, uh, neat night with the, you know, the way the under the lights and uh, the way it was presented. So they're all they're all special though, um, you know, especially the ones you win. And um, this will be a great memory. Henrik from uh, Alejandro Angels Week, Sweden. Describe the feeling playing in fifty thousand and beat the biggest rival. Well, it's obviously it's uh, it is a big weekend for uh, for our club. Um, you know, we started uh, yesterday with the alumni game. Uh, uh, that was a great show. It was fun to see all the, the old guys uh, battling. And uh, for us today, we were excited to go out and play. Um, I think everyone that worked with this uh, this event did a great job. Um, I had a little issue with the ice yesterday, but today it was uh, it was good. So, and obviously it was a uh, big two points for us. And uh, you know, it's uh, now we just got to move on. Hey, uh, Brad, uh, just curious, how much did the wind and the blizzard of cotton affect you guys? Yeah, the cotton thing looked like it was going to affect it, but it ended up didn't do much. It just looked like it was all going to come piling on the ice. But I think the wind was swirling so much it never even got to the ice. A lot of it, so. Um, but I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't, uh, you have to ask the faster skaters how they felt the wind was affecting them. <laughs> I was the same speed all night. Henrik, uh, I'm just curious, how, how important was the Nyquist goal to get you guys going there in the third period? And then just from an aesthetic point of view, the, the, his ability to score a goal like that? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it was a big goal and it was, uh, it was a nice goal. Uh, you know, he's that kind of a, sp a special player. Uh, he doesn't need much to uh, to to create uh, chances, and, and you saw that there, and uh, it was a pretty good back in there. Uh, Brad, you uh, you've now have a couple of nighttime outdoor games in your belt and daytime ones as well, so what's, what's your preference? I don't know if I'll get in trouble for saying one or the other. Um, <laughs> But I, I seem to like the, the night ones. Um, the one in New York against the Islanders is pretty cool. And then tonight, uh, as it as it uh, you know the the black sky came over, and you're under the lights. Uh, it just has a different feeling. But you know the ones in the afternoon. There was one where it was snowing a bit, and that felt pretty cool too. So they're all good. Uh, you know when 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 nothing happens uh, weather wise that you can go out and just play the game. Um, that's that's what you're looking for. So I haven't been in ones where there's full blizzards and they have to scrape the ice. So um, the, the night's pretty special. Any more questions? Here. Hendrik, uh, you have a lot of dedicated fans that flew way from Detroit into Colorado. And there was a lot of Colorado fans out there tonight. First question, um, how do you feel that, you know, there's so much dedication and yet, you know, you could hear a lot of the Red Wings fans trying to keep up the chant, despite, you know, the massive number of uh, Avalanche fans. And how does it feel to uh, send all the Avs fans disappointed tonight in their first outdoor game ever? Well, I think, um, first of all, our fans are special. You know, we, uh, everywhere we go, they're, they're there. Uh, Obviously, this this weekend is a big weekend for for a club, and you saw that with all the fans uh, starting yesterday, uh, or even the day before when we got in here. We saw a lot of Detroit jerseys walking around, and uh, uh, you know, and get that gets us excited uh, to see see all of them. But I think just the history with these two uh, clubs and and the alumni game probably brought a lot of a lot of fans, uh, and then second. 
you know, winning this game was big. You know, I think uh, every point now is is huge going in uh, to the postseason. So uh, we're glad we got the two. Sort of. Uh, what do you think, Henrik? What do you think of Pavel Datsu getting a roughing penalty and going after Landeskog? <laughs> yeah, I, I I was changing, so I just saw the end of it, but. Uh, uh, Powell can throw throw things around sometimes too, uh, and obviously Landeskog is a strong guy too. Uh, I don't know what who threw the first one, but uh, I think it was a pretty even result though.